Renting a car is a pretty simple transaction. You give your license, your credit card, and you give the vehicle back when you're done with it. But around the country, several people who have rented from Hertz found themselves under arrest and charged with auto theft, even though they say they properly rented the cars. These three people are still shaken from the trauma they experienced. Lisa Guerrero reports. Let's go, girls. At Hertz, the slogan is rent a car, own the memory. Rent the car, own the memory. But these folks who live outside Atlanta say their memories renting with Hertz are ones they'd much rather forget. All of you went to jail. Yes. yes. They all say they were charged with theft after Hertz incorrectly reported their rental cars had been stolen. All guns drawn on me. I was thrown to the ground, I was arrested, and I was locked up for over a week. Paul Anthony Knight says he was wrongly arrested and charged with felony auto theft for a Hertz rental he properly paid for. Absolutely they knew I had their car. And you're paying for the car? I absolutely paid for their car. His case was eventually dismissed, but not before he says it took a heavy toll on his life. There was that felony hanging over my head, and I've never felt more guilty of something that I know definitively I did not do. Julius Burnside said Hertz filed a stolen car report on him, too. I just see guns draw up. He says he eventually cleared up the mess by showing this receipt, proving he'd paid Hertz. The charges were dismissed, but not before he sat in jail for half a year. I wasn't going to say I stole something, and I know I paid for it. Is it fair to say that Hertz destroyed your life? Hertz destroyed more than just my life. It affected my families, my kids. I'm definitely full of anxiety, even though I know I haven't done anything wrong. Bianca Deloche says she was driving with her two kids when she was arrested by police. We paid for the car. Hertz reported the car stolen, even though we pay for the vehicle. Her charges were also dropped. Yeah, Hertz also says they have a tiny, tiny problem, but it's a massive corporate disaster. The Attorney Francis broken. Malafi yeah, represents yeah. these Georgia residents and others Georgia suing Hertz. This is a systemic nationwide problem where Hertz is putting good paying customers in jail wrongly. So what's going on here? He says the confusion seems to happen in situations where customers extend their rentals or swap out for new vehicles. And that information doesn't get processed by Hertz accurately. So the vehicles come up as missing in the Hertz computer network. Hertz reports the vehicle to the police as stolen, even though the customer still has it. It's a stolen vehicle. It's happening everywhere. In California, cops arrested a real estate agent, Carrie Gibbs, after Hertz reported her rental truck stolen. I was completely shocked. In fact, Carrie Gibbs says she had rented a vehicle as a replacement after her car had been involved in a crash. Her charges were later dismissed. This has got to stop. It's destroying people's lives. They owe me more than an apology. Hertz can always apologize, but the memory is what lasts forever. Hertz didn't comment on the allegations in our interviews, but in a statement said the vast majority of cases involved renters who were many weeks or months overdue returning the vehicles and had stopped communicating with them. They also say situations where vehicles were reported to authorities are rare and that that only happens after exhausted attempts to reach the customer.